I think it's time to change up our army composition. We have been struggling episode after ep episode, battle after battle, and it's mostly because I'm a moron. No, it, it well, kind of. It, it Basically, I feel like where my army is, I'm not ready to fight with the big dogs, okay? I'm just not there yet. You know, I, I, I get a little overconfident with my army comp. I want to jump in and kill some lords. But it just doesn't work out like that. Because my army is not ready for that. I, every time I get an army wiped, they get really... They're weak. They're green. You know what I mean? They're not, they're not ready for a full battle. So, I think I'm going to change up my strategy here. And essentially walk away from the war against the Valandians because I just I'm not really helping anyone I'm just taking recruits and sending them to their deaths so not really uh benefiting the uh you know Batanians so oh by the way little side note I got distracted here look at Rote Rote is broken off into its own little empire that's pretty cool but anyways as I was saying I think my strategy here is going to rely on a different type of infantry. I'm going to go up and get... I'm going to get the best infantry in the game. In my, or one of the best infantry. And that is the Sturgeon infantry. So we're going to go up there and get the Sturgeons. But we're going to combine them with Batanian archers. So that is the idea here. That is my strat. That is what I hope to do. So I'm going to go to this castle actually. And donate troops to the garrison and we're gonna donate pretty much all of let's see what are we gonna do here we're gonna donate all of the recruits oh that's right we got a bunch hold on hold on hold on hold on so if you guys remember the last episode we won a battle and we actually got a ton of like troops that are like sturgeon or I'm sorry, Valandian for some reason. I don't really know why. But I guess we'll just keep the army as is. We got some Cav. Got a Sword Sister. Like, we got all kinds of stuff now. We could keep the recruits. Uh, you know what? I'll... I don't like it because it's not like a clean arm. It's, it's pretty good, though. Like, our army's not that bad since we got those prisoners. But I think we should, the rest of our army should be Sturgeon infantry. So we're going to go up north. I'm just going to keep what I have. And over time, kind of shape my army to this combination of Sturgeon infantry and Batanian archers. So let's head over to their territory and go recruit their men. This is also going to be, oh, let's not go that way. Let's not go that way. This is also going to be good because, um, is he coming for me? What is he doing? Oh no, he's going to siege this castle. Not my problem. Not my problem. See, this is the issue at hand. I, I tried to save the world. I just can't. I can't. Oh, no. He's he's pulling back. He's going to defend it. Oh, my gosh. We got to just get out of their way. Yeah, it sucks. I hate to run away like this and not fight, but we just... Trying to fight is doing more damage than good. So we need to try to just, you know, sl stop the bleeding, essentially. And, um, you know, try to get some good troops here. Build them up. Get their skill going. We're making good money, right? Kind of. We got the caravan going. We got the mercenary contract going. Where's where's the caravan? Oh, there we go. There's both caravans. It's doing okay. Caravan's doing okay. It's bringing in positive money. And here we go. What do we got? Some prisoners that want to join us? A recruit? Eh. We could get rid of this guy. Make some good money there. we That's the other thing. We need to start making more money. More money, more power. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Didn't we already do this? Oh, well, my game did crash a couple times. Let's see. Seven veterans. Plus four daily experience for tier four plus troops in your party. I think I'm going to go with... What did I go with? I think I'm going to go with plus two daily experience for all troops in your party. I think that's better. It's not as much experience as the other one, but it... What is this? Okay. It's a... It's a... Whatever. It's not my problem. That's what it is. Not my problem. All right. Let's go recruit. I'm also going to try to go after bandits and whatnot. 
Here we go. So we want to go for the infantry. We could get the recruits too. Whatever. We'll shape them. We'll shape them into good soldiers. Look, we just lost another battle. Man, the Batanians kind of suck. They kind of suck. All right. There's our Sturgy and infantry. Let's go see if we can run down some enemies here. Oh my gosh, we just lost another. Bitter defeat, yeah. Look at the war score, 100 to 45. We got annihilated. Yeah, keep running through the forest, dummy. All right, and then here, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to send, not leave. That's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to just, shut up. I'm going to send in the troops. And whatever, it is what it is. We lose troops, we lose troops. I'm not going to stress out over it. And the reason I'm doing that is just it's faster. Let's see, Batanian Skirmisher or Raider? What do we want? A Raider goes into a Falksman, which is pretty good, but they're weak to Archer ammo. So I think I'm going to go with the... Let's go with the Skirmisher. Nice. Look at that. Already getting... Oh my gosh. Look at all this loot. Already getting some good stuff. I mean, it's easy as that. Easy as one, two, three. All right? We just go in... Here's some, oh, 21 looters. Perfect. We're going to be a little slow here because we're just coming out of a battle. But this is what we have to do. I know it's not, I think the other issue is like, I want this to be exciting for you guys. But me losing battle after battle isn't exciting. Maybe it is exciting. Maybe it is. I don't know. But <laughs> it's not. Right? It's not super exciting. Um, here we go. We got looters. Nice. We should probably sell these prisoners soon. Or take them in. Let's see, Valandian footmen or crossbowmen? Well, a footman would be nice, uh, but the crossbow would also be a good addition with their archer force. See, the footman could become a Valandian vanguard, or he could become a Valandian sergeant, pikeman, or volgir, or whatever. Uh, it's like a halberd unit. Um, or we make him a crossbow. Uh, let's, make, let's get the crossbow. I'm, I think I'm going to go with the crossbow. And then we do have one prisoner who wants to join us. I'm not going to do that. Let's get all this loot. Let's go to a nearby city and, and make some money here. And uh, this is already... We're already off to a good episode here, guys. This is the smart thing to do. I'm sure, it's not flashy and exciting. But it's the smart thing. Alright, so what, who leveled up? The engineer? Did you level up? Ah, you leveled up. Your trade. Nice. Let's do 15%. Uh, price penalty while uh, selling equipment or minus 50% price penalty while selling trade. Let's do trade goods because that's what she is. And then we'll improve our... What should we improve? Well, we want to improve her scouting. We'll, we'll put one into this so her scouting gets a little bit better. That's going to help with her avoiding enemies while being a caravan. Oh, there's a tournament over here too. Okay. Let's go here. Let's recruit... A troop, because why not? Let's go trade. We got a lot of loot here. Oh, this is worth 3,000. I guess we'll go ahead and trade that. Um, We got some armor here, but I'm pretty sure everything that we have... Well, we could... You know what? We could give it to the engineer, actually. So let's improve him. He needs, he needs some better equipment. Yeah. Because we don't want him to die. This is going to help prevent death. <laughs> Uh, let's see. That's even better. It's not the best, but it's better than nothing. Oh my god, that looks horrible. It just kind of looks homeless. I don't... Whatever. Here we go. That looks a little better. What do you have for weapons? You have a... Can we get you a shield? It's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. We can give him a bow too, but... Remember, I don't really want him... Honestly, he should have a bow. Because I don't want him near the front line. So let's just give him this mountain hunting bow. And then we'll give him some arrows. And there you go. He's an archer. He's, he's an archer. So he'll sit back and do archer things. Cool. Alright, so everything else will sell. And... Do we have anything interesting here? We got this sword. We could probably give this sword... It's probably better... Yeah, this is... Wait. The back sword is better. 
Yeah, so take that. And then everything else will sell. Okay, that's good. We'll keep this. This is our food. We'll make almost seven grand. Look at that. Look at that. All right, cool. So let's go to the tavern. We can recruit some sisterhood followers. We don't need to do that. We need to ransom prisoners. Ah, I'm guessing, yep, the Lord escaped. I was like, why are we only getting 600 gold for this? I'm going to, I'm going to ransom just guys I don't really care about. So basically these looters, the spear militia. Let's see. Um, I guess I'll keep. No, I'll get rid of them. Get rid of you guys. I'll keep all these guys. Yeah, I'll keep all these because they're pretty good. Why not? It's not much gold, but <laughs> it's better than nothing. Oh, yes. Yeah, so let's compete in the tournament as well. So maybe we'll get something good out of this. Maybe we can get some good equipment, make some good money, and continue to push us to greatness. Okay, so we got a team battle here. We got all pretty much the heroes on our side, like characters against just random. Oh, then look at the helmet we get. We already have one of these helmets, but we could give it to um, our engineer. Yeah, so this lag might be the disembodiment mod, which is causing the lag. All right, let's go move in and help out. Come here, turn around. So I might have to turn off that mod. For it, it, it's not too bad. It's a little bit of lag, but it's not too bad. All right, one v one. I like my chances here. All right, a little low. How did that not hit? Little high. That literally went right over his head. All right. We'll beat him with the axe. We're pretty good with the axe. All right. 2v2. Not my favorite, but we'll see what we can do. And yes, I intentionally rhymed that. Come here. Fight me. This is my least favorite combination of arms here. It's just so boring. And it's so hard to hit the enemy. I, I just got to make sure this cab doesn't sneak up on me. Now, one trick you can do with this is the dodge. It's tricky. It's risky. We could constantly shield bash him. Oh my gosh, dude. Ooh, see? That, I probably should have got hit there. I missed the shield bash. Oh my gosh. There we go. And yeah, this is my only weapon. I couldn't I couldn't switch to a sword, which would be really convenient. What is going on here? Look at him go around in circles. 41 damage. Dang. I could just go for the horse. Come on, dude. Do something. Don't make me do it all. Oh my god. You suck. You suck. Hopefully I get, yeah, I get to face him. Good. This guy's trash. All right. Gonna throw a bomb here. Yeah! Ah. Oh. Of course, of course he goes off on me. You know, he does nothing in the previous round, and then he just goes off. It's all right. We still won. Whoa, dude, look at that. 2,000? 
What the hell? 2,000 gold for winning that tournament? That's pretty impressive. I don't know why that is. You usually win more money early on because you're like a no-namer and no one's expecting you to win. But as you win more tournaments, you make less and less money because you're less of a gamble if people put money on you. So, yeah, I don't know why we made so much money there. Well, let's go to our inventory and see um, if this new helmet is any better. It's exactly the same helmet we have, and I'll give it to you. There you go. That's cool. He needs pants, though. He needs pants. Okay, that was a nice win there. That's helping us get our money back up. So that's good. Everything's going well. Um, if we can find like a um, bandit hideout, that would help as well. You know, kind of, I don't know like how our relations going to be with the Sturgeons as Britannia. You think we'd kind of be fairly nice because we're both like, I don't know. What, how do I put this? We're both kind of like barbarian-esque. I don't, I don't know. We've got, you know, whatever. I don't know. I don't even know the lore of this. I don't even know if there is like a, I know the Batanians, the Sturgeons, they might be allies actually. Anyways, uh, any, anyways, let's go see if we can find a sea raider hideout. Cause there is just like, there it is. There's just like a whole party of it. Now we could try and, um, we could try to get one of these guys. To, um, I don't feel like it's like chasing cockroaches. I don't, I'm just going to go to the nest, destroy it. And this should help us get some um some cred some street cred for destroying this hideout um it's also going to get us some good experience and loot and everything so what we're going to go in with um i mostly want to just go in with archers because i want them to get some experience so yeah i'm just going to go in with the archers so we'll get the sword sister, we'll get the Batanian hero, um, the crossbow, we can get two more. We can get, these are level three. Eh, good enough. There you go. That should be good enough. Um, I'm just going to tell them to advance and they should be able to deal with everything nicely here. Okay. So let's tell them first to fire at will. And then I'm just going to tell them to... Advance. <clears throat> Guys? Troops! Bowman! Advance. Advance! Okay. Soldier, follow me! Just follow me then. Maybe they need a little guidance. Maybe I, I gotta tell them to just charge or something. So, uh, this is not gonna be too hard of a hideout. It looks like we have about the same number of troops. Get them, boys. All right, I'm going to kind of keep these guys at bay. Nice job. Nice job. It's a little tricky with archers. If the enemy gets a little too close. You know what? Just try. I'm going to tell them to charge because I feel like that's the best plan of action here. They won't engage. Oh, what a shot. He turned into it. I thought I missed it, and then he turned back into it. Dang it. Don't let him kill us. There you go. Oh. All right, come on, guys. Okay. Nice. Nice job, guys. Alright, where to now? Come on, what are the crossbows doing? Crossbows, get up here. Oh, there's an enemy way down there. The crossbows have really good range. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm just trying to do long shots here. I think the further away you can hit them, the more, like, XP you'll get. In terms of leveling up your archery skill. Your archery skill. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, what's this? This guy's just fishing. What the hell? 
What is going on? How do this guy is like completely oblivious to the fact that there's about a dozen arrows. <laughs> there we go. Headshot. Look at this, dude. He's just standing there. Just like, what was that? The wind? Must have been the wind. Must be my imagination. You know, classic like sneaking RPG element, you know? Huh? What's that? Uh, must be the wind. <laughs> like arrows whizzing by. Huh? What's that? Was that, was that an arrow? Nah, yeah. just my imagination. That that sad, sad time when you should be paranoid. You know what I mean? That that time in life where being paranoid would help you so much. I love how they casually get up from their seats. Nice. All right, we're two. All right, we've almost cleared this out. Just gonna run up and try to finish this. Look at dude again. They only react once because we're so far away. I think they won't. Can someone hit him? How is that not a hit? There you go. Oh, get wrecked, nerd. Guys, careful. There you go. All right, cool. That's it. Now it's going to be the boss. Ooh. Now the question is, do I challenge him to a duel? No, I'm going to let my guy shoot. It's more experience for them. Yep. What is this guy doing? What is going on? He's just running at me and like dancing. I don't know what that was. What the hell? All right, we didn't lose anybody. Nobody got wounded. We got some influence. That was awesome. Uh, we also got some prisoners. Sea Raiders can be great soldiers for us. So that is great. And the Batanian heroes have leveled up to Batanian gods. No, what are they called? Batanian boats? No, I don't know. Whatever. They've leveled up. Um, the sword sister I'm going to keep as a crossbow. Gonna level you up. Cool. Everyone's leveled up and we got some new prisoners. And we got some great loot. Holy crap. Oh, look at this cleaver. This is awesome loot. Okay. Let's hook up. Uh, let's, let's hook up our guy. Cause I, I'm going to try to stay true to the ax. No, actually this is. The only thing better about this is that its cut damage is a bit better and its length is a bit better. But the backsword is pretty solid in its own right. I might just sell it for the money. Let's give him, let's see. Yeah, let's give him the bear pelt. Yeah, look at him. Conqueror of the Sturgeons. Cool. Very cool. All right. Yay. We improved our relations. All right, so that was a good, um, good find right there. Let's go to uh, Varcheg, the nearest city, and we're gonna sell some loot and potentially, I don't know, make some more money. We could try to, we could try to get some of these sea raiders for more experience. Uh, if they stay in the forest, we can catch up to them. Yeah, see how, see how much ground we catch, like we gain. All right, turn into the forest. Turn into the forest. Look, I I know this is annoying chasing these. Okay, they're about to run into the forest. Watch, like heat seeking. Look how fast we go through the forest. It's awesome. All right, uh, I'll just send in the troops. Oh, we didn't lose anybody. Excellent. All right, and we got a bunch of prisoners too. Holy smokes, that's awesome. Guys, we're doing it. We are doing it. This is going to be cool. We got some good loot, too. All right, let's go. Like I said, let's go to... I guess we can just go to Omar or Omor. Or however, however you pronounce it. We could sell some of the loot we have. So let's go trade. And we got some good stuff here. I think... Wow, so the quality... Veteran 
Is this one-handed? Why is it... So the handling... I... I think this is better. The quality veteran warrior axe is better than what I currently have. For a couple reasons. The handling is only one less. The length is a little shorter, which is... Sucks. But the cut is so much better. I think I'm gonna get this. Yeah. We got some throwing axes. I'll sell those. I don't really... Ooh, look at this. I'll just sell all that. We got a bunch of clothes here that I don't need. There we go. 5k. Just like that, we're at 20k. Doing pretty good, guys. Doing pretty good. Now, the Batanians are at peace right now, which is nice. And both my caravans are hard at work. And we're making now plus 600 gold per day. Even with our pretty professional army. I'm not saying our army's like god tier or anything, but it is doing pretty well. And uh, we're going to catch up to these guys. Send in the troops. Nice. No deaths. A couple casualties, but they'll heal. We'll take the prisoners and we'll level up the troops again. Again, we're not like getting a ton of experience by killing looters, but it does add up. And things are getting better, guys. All right. I think pretty soon we can go, we can go hunting enemy lords. If I can get my party size to, say, in the 70s, I'd feel a little bit more comfortable. Just having those extra, like, you know, seven troops really does add up. Like, that's a good size. Oh, 26 looters. That's a fat stack. I think one, I think the most I've ever seen from a looter stack was, like, 100. That was during, like, one of my playthroughs. All right, cool. We might lose troops here because there's so many. Yep. We lost a Batanian skirmisher. Oh, well. We were going to replace them anyways. Replace them anyways. Um, Should we get the Batanian scout? The cav, the cav are decent for the Batanians, but they're not, like... I, I was, I was kind of thinking of going, like, a cavless army, but I don't know if that's smart. For now, I think I'm going to go with the Picked Warrior. I just basically... What we need to build is an army that is... We, we need to have a Cav Presence, but we need to use them defensively. So, just a counter Cav. So, you know, it might not be a terrible idea of, like, getting, you know... Getting some calf for like maybe like 10. Like once we can have like 70 troops in our party, maybe get like 10 troops, you know, that are calf and use them defensively, really basically to nerf the charge. Oh, we need to get some food. But yeah, nerf the charge of the enemy. And then our infantry would swoop in. All right, let's just let's just go ahead and buy some food here. We'll just buy all of it. Wow, butter is twenty six gold. Just to hold over the army, and then we'll head over to. Let's just go over here, buy some food. Empire always has some delicious food. And hopefully, we get into a war. I think. Oh, there's a tournament over there as well. We can compete in that. But yeah, I think uh, I think we're getting close to ready for a war. You guys might be rolling your eyes. I get it, because you're thinking it's too soon. But uh, it might be... I think this army's... You know, they're getting there. Alright, let's try to diversify our food here to kind of improve the happiness. We got the money now. You know, we, we can splurge a little bit. Alright, uh, we spent a little too much. Let's just get a mule... Get three mules, kind of help with that. And then let's go to the arena and join the tournament. All right, big team battle. We're fighting for a sword. Let's do it. I'm on horseback. I like that. Except when I miss everything. That kind of sucks. Dude, don't worry about the cav. Just don't. Worry about the people who are throwing stuff at you. There you go. 
Ugh, just a little too early. I can couch here. I should. Here we go. Goodbye. Oh, that only did 44 damage? I guess because I suck at it. Nice job. What? I missed. That had to have been a miss. There we go. Down to the one horseman. I'm going to try to couch here. Nope. Never mind. You got him? Come on. There you go. Alright, cool. Now we got a 2v2v2. These I don't mind. That's a problem. That's a problem. Alright, let's see if we can win this. This is why I avoid 2v2s. <laughs> but we did enough to get to the next stage. Hopefully, there's no more 2v2v2s. Oh, jeez. It's another 2v2. And I got my stupid Imperial Train Infantry. Oh, one's a Javi. Okay, this works. So, essentially, this is it. Okay, where's my teammate? He's still alive. Teammate. Teammate. There you go. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. That was actually kind of smart from the other team to kind of double team me like that. But thankfully, my teammate came in clutch. I, I don't know. This this tournament feels like... It feels like I shouldn't win this. Like, the way I performed in this. I guess the first round I did all right. But the second round, I just kind of ran away. There we go. Victory! All right, cool. So, nice little win there. We got some renown. We got the sword. We got the chick. All right, no. We didn't We didn't win any women here. Good win. All right, cool. So, what do we get? We got a sword. Let's check out this sword. See what it's all about. It's, uh... It's pretty good, I guess. Let's see. The handling is not as good, but the cut is better. I honestly think it's better than what he currently has, so we'll change that out. Cool. Got him a better sword. Got him a, My engineer is looking pretty decked out. And I guess we can get rid of all this clothes to free up some space. Get rid of all this. Get some extra cash. Alright. Well, we're doing pretty good. Let's head back over to friendly territory. And go see if we can um, kind of do what we've been doing in the Sturgeon land, which is hunting down bandits. To kind of improve our relation with the different villagers, you know, so we can recruit a little bit faster. Everything like that. But, jeez, man. The Volandian. Oh, we gained a level. Let's go. Okay, let's put one into Steward because I want to have a bigger army. Which now we can't. Dang it. Can we get any prisoners to join us? Okay, hold on. We got an, a, a recruit here that we can level up. But what do we want to do? Woodsman makes him an archer. We want... We want the Sturgeon Heavy Spearman or the Axeman. What do we want? Probably the Spearman. And then get him... Okay, so we want him to go Sturgeon Warrior. That's basically what we... Yeah. Any prisoners want to join? No, not yet? Okay. We can get rid of some prisoners. That's probably what we should do. We got a bunch of looters that I have no interest in. Whoa! Good job, guys. They just hunted down a uh, bandit. We got a tournament over here as well, so... I guess we can do that. I don't know. The tournaments, I know they're getting kind of old. Um, let's go to the tavern. Ooh! We can hire three elite pikemen. We don't have the space for it, but... Let's, uh... Let's just get rid of all these guys. Cool. And we'll keep everyone else because I like everyone else. They, they'll eventually join me. They will. Well, let's go to the arena, join the tournament, and here we go again. 
the tournaments really are like like really really good early game because they provide experience they provide money and they provide renown so when in doubt if you're starting a new character play the hell out of tournaments and they're really not that hard to win i just i got unlucky i don't know you might be thinking i'm bad but you might be right but uh certain certain tournaments are e easier than others you know for example the batanian ones are kind of harder because of all the like high damage two-handed weapons where if you make a small mistake you could die or i guess you don't die in a tournament but you can get knocked out where in the empire you have more sword and shield where it does less damage but it can be harder to kill the enemy or your opponent man that guy was tanky all right we're facing an enemy lord here man every round has been a two-handed two-handed weapon Ooh, that was a good one. All right, we won. <laughs> Easy peasy. Yeah, we're pretty good now. See, we're making less and less money because we're starting to build up that tournament renown. Okay, cool. So that was good. And we can go ahead and trade our prize away. I, this always reminds me of uh, a knight's tale. Whenever he wins, he just like sells it like the trophy, get money and stuff. Anyways, uh, let's get a roguery up. Let's see. What does this do? Plus 20 experience gain for bandits in your party. Plus five raid speed. That's pretty good. 20% chance for convincing bandits to leave in peace with barter. Minus 20% prisoner escape chance in the governed settlement. We'll go with the first one. We'll go with the first one. That'll help our uh, bandit troops level up faster and everything. I was hoping I'd get something where it'd be easier to convince them to join me. You know, um, because we we do have a lot of prisoners that I want them to join. You know, I want them to join us. Oh, there's another tournament over here. All right, I think we're almost ready for war, you know. Oh, here we go. We can. Oh, yes, we can add two more to our party size. And we will certainly add a bushwhacker to the army. So heck yeah. And let's go freaking uh compete in the arena. Let's do it. Another tournament. Um we have a good mix. We well it's a bit it's a big team battle. It's for a horse, which could be cool. Hey, the last horse we won, it got us uh freaking 14,000 gold. Freaking. Okay, why I'm like panicking. Okay. Get him. Get him. Dude, you're right in front of me. Oh, jeez. I'm just going for body shots here because here, I'll go for a headshot there. Well, I missed it, but whoa, calm your Might as well get some archery practice here. Alright, cool. Even if I died there or got knocked out, we would have won. Alright, big team battle. Going in, guns a-blazing. No! Good job, Archer. Okay, that could have been bad real fast, but... Guy came in clutch. Alright. It's me versus the guy. The guy who came in clutch. Let's see how he, how he is with an axe. Alright, Volandian. This is for killing my people. You a-hole. Damn. Blandian scum! I want to kill him. Let me kill him. 
All right. Here we go. Hired crossbow. Dude, congrats on making it this far. That's all I got to say. But GG. All right. So another good victory. You got a thousand gold. You got a horse. Let's see. You got more renown. Uh, pretty soon I should get to clear, uh, clear. What? I should get to clan level two so I can just join the Batanians as a lord. So let's trade. And, um, our horse. 1,800. Not great, but we'll take it. We'll take it. So while I'm at these tournaments, uh, since we're at peacetime, we should look for, like, a medic or something, right? So let's go to... The tavern. Nobody's here. No, I'm curious. I think you can see if we go to go. Let's see. Home. Go to heroes. Let's do wanderers. Now, I wonder if there is a oh, here's a healer. We can send a messenger. You know, too little. Point them out for a messenger. Okay. Last seen at Hub Bar. That's pretty far. Let's see if there's another healer. I don't really care how good they are of a healer as long as they're decent. Let's see. A healer. And what I want, so I want a couple things. I want a healer. I want like a good scout. Um, it looks like that's the only healer. I really want a healer in the army, so I guess I'll go on the journey. The epic journey, though, by the time I get over here, look at this. Oh, my God. It's literally the furthest away possible city. By the time I get over here, it's probably she's going to be gone. But we'll try it anyways. Because we got to get a healer. It gots to. We'll check it every day. See if it changes because she could travel. But, yeah. Look at that. We're making almost a thousand gold. Or we almost did. 864 gold. That's pretty sweet. All right. Let's check it again. Yep. She's still last seen there. Run! Run! <laughs> uh, so that that is the nice thing about having peace. Is that it gives you more free time to kind of do stuff like this. To kind of be more leisure. Look for like... Look for ways to, like, improve the army. Nice. We got another prisoner that wants to join us. So this medic is going to be a huge help of keeping our men alive after battles. Instead of dying, they'll instead get just wounded. Uh, but I really do want to search for, like, an epic warrior that is going to help the infantry. So I want to find someone who's a good fighter. Um... Uh, it's a it's gonna be a plus if they're also great at scouting or something like that. But I wanna find a an amazing fighter that will help bolster the men, the infantry of, of our army. And I could look for something similar uh, for an archer, you know, or a, a calf, you know, kind of thing. But uh, basically when we get into a battle, I'll assign them to lead the infantry and hopefully they'll provide some bonuses to the infantry. Oh, nice. We can now have 66 men. We can level up and we can add the prisoner. Heck yeah. Uh, food's still looking good. Everything's looking good, guys. Everything. Here, there's a tournament over here. We might as well. And we should check to see what kind of companions they have. So let's go to the tavern. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, guys. I think we just found our warrior. Look at this. He's actually pretty good at steward. In fact, if we make him the quartermaster, I think we'll have a bigger army. His steward skill is oh, he's pretty good. Uh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go. We're gonna add him. This is the warrior I, I was talking you. about. Peace to you, stranger. I don't really care about your story. I just want you in the army. Um, unfortunately, that's going to cause us to be to, oh no, we can now have 68 troops. Now here's the thing. Check this out. Check this out. All right. So we've got, we've got him at Enhelm barrel chest. Uh, he's pretty good. How does he compare? So 
Our steward's actually better than his. Okay, so never mind. Never mind. We're, we're a better steward. So he's going to be our warrior, our ultimate warrior. But we got to hook him up with some equipment. And I'm definitely not going to get him equipment from here. I mean, he could have the, like, you know, the Azurai aesthetic. But for now, let's just join the tournament. We'll, uh, we'll go back home and hook him up with some cool equipment. I don't know. We can make him look Azurai. I don't know. We'll think about it. All right, 2v2. Oh, a banner of shifting sands. Increased troop movement speed. That would be great for infantry. I don't know. It'll be our first banner, too. All right, cool. Let's bet on ourselves. It looks like our companion did not make it. All right. Sword and shield, baby. That's what I live for. There we go. See ya. Good job. I did everything. All right. Let's go ahead and bet. And. Hail Mary. Oh, not even close. He picked up another one. All right. And we got a 1v1, which is perfect. Oh. This will help improve our throwing skill. All right, let's fight. Let's give him a show. Let's go. All right, cool. It'd be kind of cool if you made more money in foreign like tournaments because it's like outsiders don't really know you, you know, because you're like famous in a certain region. Oh. 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 And that's the final round right there. Just like that. All right, cool. And no, we're, we're making less and less money. It is what it is. So we got a banner now. I guess I'll just take it for now. I'll just put it in my, in my arsenal of stuff. So yeah, let's go to our inventory and just put it here for now. That's cool. That's going to increase troop move, movement speed. I don't know. Better than nothing, right? And we will uh, get out of here. So we found our warrior. Oh, the question is, are we going to buy him epic armor? Mm. Yes, but I want him to kind of look Batanian because we are Batanians. Well, or Sturgeon because we're, we're also getting a lot of Sturgeons in the army. Doesn't matter. What we want to do is get our medic. And the medic... The medic and the engineer, we can kind of assign them with the archers because I want them to kind of be back. Oh, nice. We can add prisoners, but we need the space for the medic. By the way, let's make sure. Oh, nope. That's still at Habar. We got to head over that way. Hopefully, fingers, cro fingers crossed, war does not up. Uh, I can't speak right now. I can't talk. Abrupt. A war, a war doesn't happen. Oh, we're so far away. I guess it doesn't really matter, but we need to get to the point where, oh, our scouting has gone to 100. We need to get to a point where we uh, we can actually do things, you know, change the outcome. We do have a level up here. Our steward went up. Nice. Minus. Nice. This is good. Minus 10% food consumption by your party while it is part of an army or plus 20% production rate to own workshops. Uh, we don't really own any workshops, so I'm going to do stiff upper lip. And scouting, let's see. Force march plus 25% travel speed when the party morale is higher than 75. Or minus 20% overburden penalty. Uh, we'll do force march. Our morale is not quite there yet. It's at 61. But it will it will get higher. That's a, that's a cool ability. I like that. 
And we're going to level up here. Nice. Making our troops stronger. All right, let's see if she's here. It's a she, right? I'm pretty sure. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Let's uh, talk. Hold on. What is she good at? Obviously, healing. One handed's not bad. Her throwing's not bad. That's all right. We'll we'll still put her with the archers, because we want to keep her alive. You know, obviously. Peace to you, strike. Oh, she's not very attractive. No, she's all right. Um, let's um. What? Wait, I have too many companions. I went all this way for nothing. Oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding me. I have too many companions. Ah. Hmm. All right. Well, it is what it is. I don't really want to give up this guy. He's a pretty good fighter. I mean, he's not like amazing, but... I've already built a bond with him. You know what I mean? Damn, dude. That sucks. That sucks. Okay. Well, I can't get any more companions until... Until I get to the next tier. Now, this was... Well, I can't say it was all for nothing. Because we did win a tournament and we did find our epic companion... Let's go back home and hook him up with some good Batanian equipment. Let's make him look Batanian. You know what I mean? Let's make him look awesome. Because he's going to be our epic, like, you know, frontline BA kind of guy. You know, he's going to be leading the infantry and help holding the line to buy time for the archers. That's, that's the plan. But while we're headed home, if we do come across another tournament, I will compete in it. Oh, that sucks, man. I really, really wanted that healer. Ah. All right. Well, I think I'm ready for war. I guess what we can do is go ahead and fill that spot here. We, I mean, it seems like every time I check our party here, we're, we're like growing troop size. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, so we'll just keep that up and we're, we're making negative money, but it's, it's barely anything. It's like 200 a day. We're at 30,000 gold. Um, I want war to break out, but, oh, what's this? We'll start encouraging Lords to have large private armies. Oh, that's cool. Cool. Uh, that's the other thing. I need to become a, a Lord, but it's taken forever to get to, to the next, um, the next tier. You know, we go to... Our, I mean, look at this. We need 150. We're at 113. I don't know. How much renown do we get for winning tournaments? Looks like there's a battle over here. What is happening here? Oh, the... Oh, the Volandians are at war with the uh, um, Azurai. That's actually uh, pretty good. Dang it, dude. Yeah. All right, we're almost back home. We're going to go to our... I think this is the capital over here. And uh, we need to uh, hook up our epic uh, sergeant or whatever you want to call him. The leader of the infantry, the commander of infantry. Hook him up with some cool equipment. We need him, we need him nice and strong. I really wanted a healer. Honestly, a healer is probably more important than an engineer. All right, trade. Nice. Let's get your trade up. Let's do wholesaler. Wholesaler. Very nice. All right, and it looks like I gained a... Someone else gained a skill? Who, who else gained a skill? Nice. Scouting. That's perfect. Let's get you day, day traveler. So that, these are good traits to be working on for our, our caravan because look how fast they're moving now. They're going to move faster. They're going to trade better. Like, all that stuff is important. Okay. We've got 30,000 gold to spend on our epic sergeant. We do have a tournament over here. 
Let's go trade first, though. And we'll hook him up with some good equipment. So. All right. Dude, it's like you're wearing a potato sack. Like, this is not acceptable. Let's do it based on value. Uh, obviously, see, that's 35000 We can't afford that. This one's 5600 That's more reasonable. Let's go with the 3000 for now. Don't worry. We will hook him up with better stuff, but for now... We kind of we kind of have to be on a budget. Let's see. We can get them. Uh, you got to give them the bear head. I mean, come on. Even though this helmet's a little bit better, um, the bear helmet just looks so cool. Like, come on. All right, let's give them the cloak here. Yes, <laughs> he's looking pretty cool. All right, he needs gauntlets, something that's not too too expensive. Let's see shoulder we already got the shoulder piece let's see leather boots is there better than what he has i guess we'll we'll put that on we don't have any good gauntlets like like decent like these are worth seven thousand ah whatever i'll i'll give them to him oh my gosh look at that it looks a little goofy that's okay now we need to get them some, some swords and stuff. Okay. Um, the 3,000. So we we spent ha pretty much half our money. Uh, let's get them a one-handed, this is bearded axe. Get rid of that. We got them an axe. Let's get them a shield. 6,000. We're getting them stuff that's like better than what we have. Fortified kite shield. Uh, let's get them around. Let's get them this bronze. Yeah, I like this one. Yes, look at that. Um, let's give them some throwing axes. All right, we're almost spent here. I think we're gonna have to. I think we're gonna. We should give them a two-handed though. Some kind of maybe a spear. Ooh. No, that's one handed. Let's see. Anything two handed? Let's get him a hoe. Every man deserves a good hoe. No. Um, no, we will. We'll, I guess we can give him the spear. Just a good counter cav kind of thing. That's pretty good. I like that. It's better than what he had. We spent pretty much all our money too. So that means we need to kind of wait here and compete in this tournament when the sun rises because we need the money. So let's join the tournament. All right. So this, this has been not a super eventful episode, but a necessary episode. You know what I mean? Like we didn't have a ton of battles. There really wasn't a war. We just kind of focused on bettering our army. Oh man, maybe I should have waited to give him this equipment because now he's going to be tough. He has like better equipment than I do. That's how much I care. Oh, but he's an archer. Yeah, this is not good. All right, let me, let me be him. Dang it, dude. Uh, just, I mean, what can you do? This is team battles for you. Team battles. I really wanted that fur coat, though. <laughs> Maybe our companion will win it. I don't know. I guess we won't find out because I left. Like an idiot. But yeah, our companion could have could have won it. Dang it, I wish I found out. Hmm. Oh, he did win it! He did win it. Wait, does that mean we have it? Yes. He won the tournament. What the heck? Okay, that's how you know he's an epic legend. This is way better. And I'm going to wear it. <laughs> I deserve it. <laughs> I deserve it. Hey, look, he can have... And this fur coat sucks. I was going to say, you can have my old fur, fur coat, but it kind of sucks. 
Thank you, bro. Thanks for winning that tournament. That's awesome. Do we get the money too? That's cool. <laughs> I'll take that any day of the week. All right. Well, I kind of want to end on a positive note. So can we, um, let's see. Oh, here's another tournament. Let's try to, let's, let's end on a, a tournament victory. Cause we're already, uh, an hour into this episode. I mean, there's no rules, right? Do I, it's like, do I have to limit my episodes to one hour? I could do an hour and a half. I could do two. I could do three hours. I could do whatever I want. Let's get some more archers here. Let's get the sea raiders. Okay, we can now have 71 troops, guys. We're ready for war. I am ready, man. I'm so ready. Let's win a tournament. Let's end it strong. We got a free for all, a black heart. That sounds really epic. Let's see if we can win. Let's see. Look, our companions in the mix as well. Oh, look at me with my my black coat. I'm ready. Ah! You think you're cool? You're not. All right. We got a big team battle and my companion is on the other side. Not good. Oh boy. Look at him. He looks epic. Yeah, let's go. Sorry, companion. You didn't win this time. I'll win it for you. 2v2. I'm just going to join the fight. Okay. Screw this archer nonsense. Even though my guy's pretty good with the bow. Yeah! 1v1. It would be kind of cool to do like team battles, like get your best companions. You know, and have a team of four and everybody has a team of four or something. I don't know. It would be cool if they kind of diversified these tournaments a little bit. I mean, I understand that there's some differences between the different cultures of the different weapon types, but I wish there was like different modes like jousting or, or just something like just something interesting, you know? So we leveled up from that. Yeah, our two-handed went up. Nice. Let's see. 10% 10, 10 damage with two-handed axes and maces or plus 3% swing speed with two-handed. We'll do the damage with the axes. That's going to help us in future tournaments. Okay. So, guys, um, that's pretty swell. That's pretty swell. Um, let's see. Let's go to our inventory and let's look at this axe. It's a two-handed axe. Ooh, you know what? Let's give it to, uh, I kind of want to give it to him. Like, I just think he'd look cool with the big old, yeah, two-handed axe. The spear helps, though. Maybe, you know what? Let's screw, let's get, get rid of the throwing axes. We'll give the throwing axes to someone else, I guess. Um, well, yeah, we'll just give him a big axe and everything. So he looks cool. All right, so. Guys, we're out of time. This is where we're going to end it. Things are looking up because uh, we haven't had a war. <laughs> but when we do have a war, we'll be ready. The army's in shape. We're ready to go. And we got our we got a new warrior companion. Uh, hopefully soon we get to tier two and then we can get a, a healer. Help our army out. We got our engineer. We decked him out in armor. We got a cool cloak. Looking good. Guys, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. In Galradia.